one and all. Well, Gracie, every time, every time, every time I try to talk, <laughs> she's got to pipe in. Ugh. Oh, all right, Gracie, that's enough. Ow. That's enough. I said that's enough. Can we cut it? Can we be good? All right, anyway, guys. We've got three to six inches of snow coming tonight. I don't know how much is gonna stick. And this is the, the this is just the, 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 the lull before the main event. The main event is going to be, they're talking about 18 inches of snow on Sunday. Well, between eight and 18 inches. I mean, cause they give themselves this wide berth. And then Monday, another eight inches. And then Tuesday, another eight inches. And then Wednesday, it's finally gonna start to wrap up. They're talking about a potential up to 29 inches of snow. I know it's crazy, right, Gracie? Between Sunday and Wednesday, not including what's supposed to be coming tonight. I've said in the past, Minnesota has a way of evening out. We are going to get an entire season's worth of snow. Gracie in one week an entire season's worth in one week we're looking at grand totals could be 35 to 40 inches between tonight and everything else of course we'll see what actually hits we never know but let's go out to the site zach is uh, already out of fuel he started early and uh, we need to get him topped up and ready to go and then we'll start to get dive into the evening let's just see where this uh this start system takes us Good morning, one and all. Yes, you have waited long enough for a snow plowing video, and we've got special guests with us tonight. We're gonna have a blast because for the first time in a long time, Mother Nature's actually finally blessed us with something to do. But let's meet everybody here real quick. Logan, Brady, Ryan, Nick Stewart, Blake Strait, Spencer Strait. These guys came all the way from Chicago, right? Yep. Yeah. Yes, yeah, you guys did a five and a half hours ride. Ham Lake. <laughs> Ham Lake. Ryan's here having fun with us. So we got the entire Arctic team with us. They've all got their Razorbacks. And we've got, we were supposed to get 20 inches of snow. What do we think we got? About a foot, would you say? Yeah. Maybe on the maybe pavement, spot. maybe six. So, yeah, five, six on the pavement, but on the grassy, soft areas when yeah. I was brushing it Looks off. Good. Yeah, on a good day. Yeah. yeah, I would say, I would say about 12 inches or so. So it is what it is, but uh, we're going to take you guys along for the ride tonight. We're going to see what happens. We've got loaders running. We've got one, two, three, four, five, six Arctic Razorbacks running. And you guys brought a special machine with too tonight, didn't you, Blake? We did. What did you bring? Can we talk about it? I don't know if we can talk about it. Okay. It's pretty special. Can we show it? We can show Oh, we can show yeah. it. We can show it. And then maybe down the road we could talk about maybe. it. Maybe. Okay. We gotta get permission, but yeah. We gotta get permission to talk about it. So there's some special stuff going on tonight. We're gonna have a lot of fun. But the first thing we gotta do is we gotta go clear that parking lot over there. And you can see she's starting to come down pretty heavy. Yeah. These are pretty. It's finally starting to hit us the way it should have hit us way back when. All right. Well, let's get this show on the road. These late March, early April snowstorms are always the worst because it's not light, fun, powdery snow, it's the heavy heart attack snow. Ah. Oh yeah, baby.
Okay. Go. some mount socks, you know. The worst kind of plow. This is the kind of snow that breaks stuff. Yeah, no doubt. Glad it huh? turned out I was starting to get a little, uh, oh yeah, I hope it all doesn't just turn into some slush for him. Oh, yeah, we only took like a 45 minute nap and woke up and we're like, heck yeah. <laughs> right. Oh shoot, we were, we were, we were talking at like 7 o'clock like, oh man, it's yeah. not looking good. Usually it's Alex getting stuck. We Every truck in our fleet now has tow ropes just because of this oh, yeah. guy. <laughs> <laughs> I think it's turning to rain now. Oh yeah. yeah. It's all rain now. Playing. Well, I think uh, I think we just dive right in. Let's go in and uh, yeah. we'll go and we'll hit it.
And I'll just start pushing that way and you can just push up and we'll just work together a bit. But I wanna you're gonna do another long run? Yep. It's official. The Kubota SVL 75. My camera died.
But what I was saying is, it's official. The Kubota SVL 75-2, even with all season tracks, <coughs> is our worst piece of snow plowing equipment. It just slips and slides. You can't gain traction. We took the dirt tracks off. We put all season tracks on. That has improved the performance, but the machine itself just does not want to go through snow. We've got other track pieces of equipment that perform amazing, but the Kubota, not so much. At least not the 75-2. The 97-2, on the other hand, mm, beautiful. Alright guys, well that's going to call it for this video. The night didn't turn out to, we didn't get quite as much snow as what they were forecasted. They were telling us that we were going to get upwards of 29 inches of snow in one big burst over a four day period and we ended up getting like 12 inches. I wish I could be as wrong as the weather guys and still get paid for it, but uh, you know, you and I, we've got to be accurate with our work. I guess they just can lick and stick a little bit more. But we do have another video like this coming out down the pipeline because all of this wet, nasty snow needed to get loaded and hauled up. So make sure you hit that subscribe button and come back again and watch us loading and hauling some snow. God bless and go get them, you guys.